it is me and my tea. And it is now time once again for my absolute favorite unboxing of the month. Yes, it is Owl Crate time. Woo -hoo. And I am super excited for this month because the theme is Growing Wild and it has some of my absolute favorite fandoms inside and I'm super excited to see what the items are. So let's get into it, shall we? Trusty pocket knife. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Owl Crate, it is a really neat bookish YA subscription box, and every month you get book-themed items and a new book. And if you're interested in getting it, I have a link down below that you can use to get some fabulous money off. But here we have this month's box and, of course, paper wormies and our spoiler card, which is really very beautiful and almost worthy to be framed. I do say so myself. And on the back we have spoilers, as River Song would say. So first off, loads of paper wormies. And I'm gonna regret doing that, but I can't help it. So first thing I see in our box is a beautiful box. This is Owl Crate and it has a noise. Flowers and Flowers and hearth fire, spice wine, and underneath the scent of home. <gasps> and this is a V.E. Schwab item. <gasps> Ooh. It is a flower press. This is so neat. So here, whoops. So here we have our flower press, and I think the screws to press the flowers just fell down. But this is really, really neat and absolutely gorgeous. And on the back it says Owl Crate. And I cannot wait to use this in the spring because, well, right now there's not that many flowers to press. So our next item is in a beautiful little black box with gold writing on the front. And it says, you took the truth and made it into flowers. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious this is so beautiful and so sweet it is a little necklace and on the inside are three little dandelion seeds oh this is absolutely gorgeous i love this wow and i can't wait to put it on oh this is beautiful yay so our next item is some really beautiful stickers and we have like Luna Moth, Toadstools, Ferns, and all sorts of different flora and fauna. And on the back we have some more stickers that looks like you can color. And it also has a coupon on it right there for 25% off. Very cool. Next item is in a lovely little brown envelope. <gasps> and they're illustrated prints. Oh, wow, wow, wow. These are so beautiful. So here's our first print. Our second print. Third print. Fourth print. Oh, this one's beautiful. And I think this is our last print. Yes. Wow. And these are flowers from the Lord of the Rings. And I think this is absolutely incredible. Whoever did the artwork on this is amazing. So next, ooh, we have a little card here. And it looks like it's a promotion for an upcoming book. Ah, it must be the sequel from The Hazelwood. Very cool. Yay! Next up, we have our reading planner for this year. Yay! I've absolutely been loving these. This is the third one that I have gotten. And it's really nice to help keep track of all the different books that I've been reading. So it has wish lists, TBRs. Um, reviews and notes. This one's a lot thicker than last year's. 
which is all the better because that means that I can put in more books. Woohoo! So, let's see. The next item we have woo, is our monthly pin. So here we have this month's pin, and it is a lovely bear with daisies on it. Very cool. Cannot wait to put this on my pin banner, which is getting quite full, I might say. So it, now that leaves us with this month's book. So here it is. Da, 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 da. And it says, Among the Beasts and Briars. And of course, it comes with a letter from the author. And this book is absolutely gorgeous. Look at those stained edges. It is so beautiful. And now it is time for the absolute best part of opening any new book, the sound of it. Oh, yes, it's spine breaking. I love that sound. So every Owl Crate book is signed by the author, which I absolutely love. So let's see, is there any cover art? No cover, oh, no cup, no, um, cover on the art, but there is a beautiful dust jacket. It is simply stunning. Wow. I love this so much. And we can see our little bear friend right there. So let us see what this book has to say. Carrie's is safe in the kingdom of Aloria. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing the names there. Here there are no droughts, diseases, or famine, and peace is everlasting and has been this way for hundreds of years, since the first king made a bargain with the lady who rules the forest that borders the kingdom. But, Loria is, but as Aloria prospered, the woods grew dark, cursed, and forbi forbidden. Carries knows this all too well. When she was young, she barely escaped, as the woods killed her friends and her mother. Now Carrie carries a small bit of the curse the magic in her blood, a reminder of the day she lost everything. As a new queen is crowned, however, things long hidden in the woods descend on the kingdom itself. Carries is forced on the run, and her only companions is a small and irritating fox from the royal garden, and the magic in her veins is up to her to find the legendary Lady of the Wilds and beg her for a way to save her home. But the road is darker and more dangerous than she knows, and the secrets from the past are uncovered among the teeth and roots of the forest. It's going to take everything she has just to survive. Ooh, that sounds super spooky. Let's see. Ooh. And there is a map inside, which is very cool. I always love it when there are maps, and it helps tell you where things are. <sighs> well, now it is time to the bottom of our box. So we have our monthly newsletter. So we have interview with an author. We have what the original cover art looked like and the Owl Crate edition. I like the Owl Crate. I like the darker look. Makes it a bit more spooky and a little more rich. We have a really neat thing that talks about your birth flowers, other books you might like, and it looks like interview with the vendor. Very cool. And we have our Instagram photo challenge and other books that are released. I'm super excited for this one because it is the sequel to the Guinevere Deception and it is the Camelot Trail. Super cool. And now it's time for our, the one last thing. It is the last spoiler and it is for next month's theme, which is Love is a Battlefield, which instantly makes me think of that song, you know, Love is a Battlefield. So here is a spoiler, what will be in next month's box and it will be including an item from Fiction Bath Company. Ooh, super excited. And I have to say I love whoever does the spoiler card art for the next month because they are absolutely stunning and really quite amazing. <sighs> well everybody, I hope you have enjoyed this Owl Crate unboxing. I'm super excited to read this book because it sounds like just the kind of things that I am interested in and I absolutely love foxes so that is a big plus for me. And if you are new, welcome to my channel and go ahead and click that subscribe button right there so you never miss my videos ever again. And if you are interested in watching another video, go ahead and click right here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!